Hey, hey, people, what's up? It's Jamil. And you know what? This is amazing. Okay, so again, I'm in this concept where I'm go I'm grinding through gang stalking. It's a gang stalking program. And those of you who don't know anything about gang stalking, it's just like a bit. You just gotta go out and, and just research it and check it out. I mean, it, we're in a we're in a more of a fair time right now, where the the government, the Department of Justice, admitted gang stalking was real. And you got people like the former head of the FBI of Los Angeles. He was like uh, head of the FBI for over 20 years. He's come out. And he can't. Well, he's passed away now, but he did come out and say he, gang stalking is real. He experienced gang stalking. There's a lot of people going through it, so just like go out and look into it a little bit if, if you don't know anything about it. And you might not believe it. You might just say, "Hey, Jamil, you're crazy or you're tripping." That's cool too. I don't got no problem with that. But um, all right. So anyhow, I'm going to this gang stalking thing, and it's a dynamic with the girl. And I'm just, I'm serious, man. I, I just love my life, man. And she, I make her so happy. Just so happy. And anytime I get close to her, she just turns like completely red and she just gets this huge smile on her face. And the only thing keeping us from being able to be together is a dynamic to the gang stalking program. I know her father is like, you know, I, I actually, I, I changed my view of him. He He's a little bit different than I thought he was. I caught him out of the corner of my eye, like laughing and, and smiling at me. I mean, not, not smiling at me, but he was laughing and smiling because I was around. And I, it, but when I first saw him, he gave me like a hard look. I was like, damn, that's John Wayne, man. And so I think he knows, like, like I think in his heart, he sees I'm goofy, I'm comical, like, I'm a little confused, like, I, I do make mistakes and stuff like that, but I think he knows that, like, I honestly love his daughter, and, like, no matter how he feels about that, his job is to make sure that she has the best life, his job is to make sure that she's with somebody who can do it. And I'm just like, man, all I want to do is make her happy, man, That's what I, I just want to make her happy and make her feel safe, and so she, you know, she's, in, she's that important, man, like, she's a special person, your daughter, you know? Yeah, I'm talking about you, the girl. If you're watching, it. but so anyhow, anyhow, we come across each other, and the gang stalking program has never been able to use her how they want to. They've been able to use almost anybody. I mean, they, they can use the gang stalking program can pay off about anybody to do anything to you. And where they get the funding, I don't know, but they come up with it. But anyhow, the girl, she's just not going for it. And sometimes they try to use her to do different types of stuff. They try to pair up with different guys and. It's like, I, I kind of feel bad because all the guys in the, I see her with, it's like none of them, I can tell she's never, she never really looks happy. And then at the same time, all the, all the guys, I'm like, man, they don't, like these people don't care about her. I mean, maybe they do, but not like, not like I do. I love her, you know? And so anyhow, the gang stalking program has never been able to use her as they want. But at the same time, I'm still able to make her extremely happy. And I can tell we both really want to be with each other. And right now, the gang stalking program is wearing off. I can see it. I can see it. Because once I started, <laughs> once I started professing my love for her, then she started changing, and she started really, like, embracing it. Like, like you know, uh, three days ago, I could tell, man, she just didn't want to, she just, she just didn't want to do what they wanted her. I mean, she just really was like, uh-uh, I, I ain't doing it. Uh-uh, not after what Jamil said. But, and, and so she just, you know, she knows I love her now, and she, she just really, like, it, she looks like she's floating. When I see her, she looks like she's floating, and so it's just like I'm. It's getting close. Like we're in like the fourth quarter. I'm getting like you know. It's like it's like it's like a heavyweight match fight. You know, we're like we're like in the eighth, ninth round. Fourth, we're like in the fourth. Like I said, the thrill of Vanilla. We're like in the thirteenth round, fourteenth round, and they're getting t the gang stock program ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing on it. They already lost, and they're getting tired. They're getting tired. They're like, oh, man, we can't use your middle baby against them. We can't do this. We can't use. I just love her to the middle of life, and she won't do it. We don't know what to do, and we're pressuring the family, and they don't, they don't know what to do because they know Jamil loves her, and she wants to be with Jamil. And I'm just, I'm just up there. I'm, 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 now I'm in my prime. I'm like, oh yeah, remember when you, remember when you drugged me? Remember when you drugged me? Remember, remember that? Remember when you did that to me? Remember when you used to drive the cars at me and all that stuff? Uh huh, uh huh. Bam, bam, bam. Now I'm starting to light their ass. I'm like, oh hell no, I love my life. I'm going all in for her. And so I'm just tearing the gang stalking program up. And she's just sitting there like like floating. She's just like, she's just like, oh. you know, it's like, man, that's love my life, man. That that's seeing her happy is like the happiest moment of my life. Honestly. That's the happiest thing. Like day to day to day to day. I just live to see her happy. You know, I mean, even her, her brother, when, when I see him laugh or something, he reminds me a lot of her. So I'm able to gain happiness through, through if I see him ha if I see him laughing or something. And, you know what I mean? I'm just like, man, the mother, the mother definitely reminds me of her. If I, like, the mother, 
they got the same eyes, all that stuff. And so, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just going down out here, man. And, um, you know, it's just, it just really going down. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's, I'm telling you, man, that's, that's, the, that's, 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 the, that's the love of my life, man. Seeing her happy is, is like, means everything to me, you know? I mean, but at the, on the same token, I like the process of this. I'm enjoying it because I know, I know, I know me and her are going to be able to be together at some point. Just the dynamic within the gang sucking program with the family is a little bit different right now, so I can't speak to her. But that's going to, that's clear. I'm telling you, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm already seeing it. It's fading away. It's, fa it's, fa it's fading away. Because I, because, okay, I wouldn't have been able to say this a month ago. Ah, ah. I wouldn't have been able to say this a month ago. And last night, last night, I noticed something. I noticed, I noticed, the fa I noticed, I noticed things were changing. You know, it just, it didn't seem, it didn't seem like the game stocking program was as potent. And that's because it has to do with love. It's not just Jamil on here, you know, it's not just Jamil out here walking around being comical, like, oh yeah, I love her, ha ha ha. It's like, for real, man, I love her. That's the love of my life. And so, the gangsta program, they don't got no place in that. That's not, they, the gangsta program can't do nothing that, and I've seen video after video after video. I mean, we got the former head of the FBI, Ted Gunnerson in Los Angeles, you know what I mean? Head of the FBI for over 20 years. He spoke on gang stalking, but he never spoke about what happens if two people love each other, two people care about. I can't say I can't say she loves me because I haven't spoken to her, but I know she's extremely, extremely, extremely uh, uh, she's extremely influenced by me. She's extremely, you know, Bola's got a deep attraction. I know she cares about me a lot. But where I'm coming from is I'm just like, man, I know the gang stalking program is not gonna stop me from expressing my love to her and keeping her happy. You know, and that's that's amazing, man. That's amazing. Even from the circumstance we're in. Where I can't, we can't go out in the street and speak. I can't go speak to her. I can't do it. There's no way I can do it. I, you know, and so, you know, she can't come speak. She's under amazing pressures <laughs> from from her family. Man, my eye. What the hell? I got allergies. She's under amazing pressure from her family. From her uh, family. But even the dog, even the dog could feel my love for. Her. I saw the dog a couple times, and the dog was like looking at me and like smiling and kind of laughing. You ever seen a dog laugh? The dog was kind of laughing at me, and I was like, "Man, the dog, the dog knows that's the love of my life." And so, and so, I'll, I'll, the dog was the dog was representing for the dog had like on a red collar, and man, I just been grinding this out, man. I mean, if I went the distance for Jim Jones, I know I'm gonna go the distance for her. You know what I mean? If she's blind, I'm gonna I'm what? I'm gonna. Your father doesn't think so. But I'm gonna end up getting you. What? Eventually, he's gonna go. Eventually. Eventually, John Wayne is going to say, you know what, Jamil? Well, you sure are different. <laughs> you, got, you, you know what I mean? We, this, this has been a lot. This, you know, you, you, you represented some hell of some stuff around here, man. But you know what? If she means that much to you, and you love her, and she makes you this happy, and you make her this happy, Damn how you feel. It's about how you make my daughter feel. I can see. She, we, I just, I, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and talk to her. You know, go ahead. See, that's going to, see, that's going to, that's going to be, that's going to, that's going to, that's going to be, but see, John Wayne's going to be out there with a rifle. John Wayne, it's going to be like, remember that movie Cool Hand Luke? Where that guy was like, we have, what we have here is a failure to communicate. That's what John Wayne's gonna be out there with the rifle, like like what like Hawkeye, like watching the conversation, you know. And I'm just gonna be like, man, it's all good, man. That's that's love of my life, man. You know, <laughs> that's love of my life. And so the gang stalking program can't stop that. They can't do it. Mountains will fall <laughs> before the gang stalking program keeps me from from making this woman, the woman of my dreams, feel loved every single day of her life. I've already seen the difference. I've already seen I know the family's seen it. I already seen the difference. You know, I've seen she looks like she she she, she flo man, I, I love her with all my heart, man. She looks like she's floating on air. And so that makes me love her even more. When I, once I saw once I saw just from just from just from the YouTube thing, once I saw how, how much that affected her, I was like, man, the gang stocking program ain't nothing now. I was like, I was like, they're not gonna keep me from loving her, and so if I'm able to to share love with her and affect her this greatly, 
without us even being able to talk in person. Just imagine if I talked to him in person. Just imagine I was able to kiss her cheek or cute cheek. See? Gang stalking, pro gang stalking program already lost. That's, that's what it is. The gang stalking program already lost, and this is just like the aftermath. The gang stalking program, they got nothing. They got nothing here, man. They got nothing here. You mean to tell me, okay, listen. This young woman, she just she just does not feel in her heart that the gang stalking program is more important to me. The family, the family, yes. Her mother and father more important to me, yes. But is the gang stalking program? Obviously not. So if I'm able to make her feel all this love, all this kindness, all this companionship, all this happiness, that's going to bend the dynamic. And the family has to recognize that and say, damn, fuck the gang, excuse my language, damn, screw the gang stalking program. We want our, we, our daughter, our daughter is, if our daughter can feel extreme love and extreme happiness every single day of her life, oh, go ahead on in there, Jamil. See, it's got, watch, I know the parents are, right now the parents are just like, Jamil, you're tripping. We, 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 you know, this is too comp, this is too complicated. Rah, 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 rah. Okay, I feel you. But watch. Watch. The gang stalking program is already diluting, and my love for her is getting stronger and stronger. She can feel it, and that's just what it is, man. Those people, whoever's running the gang stalking program, out of the private corporations and the private sectors and stuff like that, they it has nothing to do, it, it's just it's just me and her are just deeply connected, man. There's nothing anybody can do about it. You know, there's nothing anybody can do about it. it. Just, it's just all we have right now is a gang stalking program in our way. You know, and so once that, it's already ended, but it's going to manifest into a full ending, and then me and her are going to be able. Then I'm going to be able. Then I'm going to be able. Then I'm going to be able to give her some flowers in real life, without having without having to send them to. Now I can do. I can do it in person, and then you can see all the happiness and stuff like that. And you can say, you know what, man? Damn, Jamil, Jamil, Jamil grinded that out. Look at that. 